Hello and welcome back. A German technology startup specializing in improving and redesigning data related workflows and also cutting edge technology and also helping companies across industries prepare for the future by consulting on and implementing new solutions that increase efficiency, mainly using blockchain technology. So with me is the CEO of Advanced Blockchain Solutions, Thomas Spritz. Nice Thank to you. see you here. Thank Great you. to have you from Germany. Thanks. So, um, explain what Advanced Blockchain Solutions is doing. Uh, we are RegTech and we do uh, regulatory reporting for capital markets. So, we don't do any cryptocurrency. Uh, we do basically uh, reporting uh, for the financial industry. Okay. So, who would your customers be? Uh, mainly banks, um, but also asset managers and insurances. Okay. And then um, one issue that has really become important lately is data and people's data and not having control of their data. Um, but you are working on that and finding a solution to that, correct? Definitely. I mean, data is the core of, of, of any financial system. Mm -hmm. And especially when it comes to transparency and reconciliation processes. Uh, data is something which is kind of always centralized. When you put this on the blockchain, it's decentralized and the reconciliation processes are more efficient and uh, the data is more transparent. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so explain to me why that is so important because I, I think we all kind of know, we know what Facebook's doing, we know what Google's doing, Amazon, um, but why is it important that we have control of our data? Uh, the, the main thing is that the data is hidden at some stage and must be hidden. It must be private on the one hand. On the other hand, the regulator has to, uh, has to do a look on the data and have to check the data. Is the data reported correctly? Mm -hmm. And um, here blockchain gives us a very good uh, chance to do both, to kind of uh, yeah, bring together the privacy of data on the one hand and on the other hand, uh, the transparency of the data. Okay. Now, of course, when, when people hear blockchain, a lot of times they think of Bitcoin. But Bitcoin is one application of blockchain. Blockchain yeah. can be used in thousands of ways. Yeah. So, kind of talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah. Uh, uh, B Bitcoin is, is basically more or less um, uh, on a proof of work. Mm. This is the technology behind it. Mm -hmm. we, we are more on uh, proof of uh, authorization, mm -hmm. uh, which is a different approach. And uh, there are also proof of stake and some other areas uh, you, you can do the business. Um, as well, I think blockchain is, um, I mean, you, it's often put in, in a synonym for, for uh, Bitcoin and blockchain, it's just the same. No, it isn't. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Bitcoin is just an application. You even can go for the, further when you go to distributed ledger technology. Well, that's right. I was going to ask you about because for the longest time I thought that was interchangeable. Blockchain, distributed ledger technology, but it's not. It's not, definitely. Okay. I mean, you have uh, the, the main um, um, yeah, thing is distributed ledger is, well, you have distributed systems, you have many participants, and blockchain, in addition, gives data to this system. So, um, in simple word mm -hmm. speaking. Uh, so DLT is not equal to blockchain. Okay. Blockchain is bringing the data and the storage somehow of data into the system. Into the system. Now all of the founders of Advanced Blockchain Solutions are entrepreneurs. Yeah. Um, so talk to me about that. Why is that important? Um, I, I think we have certain experience and it brings also, I mean we, we are from different kind of, of um, areas. Uh, for instance, I'm more from the financial in industry. I used to, to work for uh, Deutsche Börse Group and I used to work for, for uh, Fitch Ratings. And the other guys are from the IT um, area. Um, one guy uh, used to work for Google. And um, yeah, I think this, um, this, all this different knowledge uh, bringing together gives us um, yeah, a better standing because what we do is not only just financial markets, mm -hmm. it's also very technology driven. Okay. So yeah, you have to combine both. Sure. And then now speaking of that, so experts in the field of settlement and also clearing doubt that blockchain technology is mature enough to replace existing systems yeah. that we have. So do you think blockchain is ready for this? I, I think not really to, to handle the whole settlement and clearing. Um, because you have a, um, a complete trade life cycle in the system. And we focus only on the last part, on the confirmation. Uh, so I think uh, blockchain is not f really fast enough to do trading. 
Uh, so uh, our approach is that the trading is still done by the counterparties, let's say Bank A and Bank B, and we just do the reporting. And okay. um, the reporting is, is done on blockchain. Here you have uh, advanced compliance, you have advanced reconciliation, and this is um, yeah, giving then finally transparency to the regulator. Okay, and then also investment banks, and this is particularly kind of a European situation, they're overconfident about new securities financing transaction regulation, SFTR. So, uh, and that comes into a force next April, right? So, how does Advanced Blockchain Solutions address that? Um, we offer a solution for uh, this uh, SFTR regulation. Okay. Um, and, and we uh, will be a trade repository. Um, there is um, certain laws, and it, it's the same, by the way, in the U.S. So SFTR is something uh, which is relevant for the European market. So we wrote out first an admission with the European regulator to be a securitization repository, and at a later stage we aim to, uh, yeah, to, uh, to have an admission in the U.S. and other important financial markets as well. Okay, and XVA Analytics. Um, complicated, sophisticated topic in the field of derivatives. So uh, what's your approach to that? Um, well, the thing is, uh, this is kind of where, where the whole uh, SFTR comes from. Um, uh, first of all, you have the derivative tradings in, in capital market. Um, and now there are new regulations coming in. For instance, margining, uh, you have bilateral margining, you have initial margining, and you have also collateral management. And SFTR is kind of in, in, in collateral management as well, you can, because you can use, uh, for instance, a collateral a security for lending, or you can use it as collateral um, in a derivative deal. Mm -hmm. And XVA is, is quite more or less the pricing of derivatives. Okay, and then um, how big can this market get? I mean, blockchain and working with the financial systems. Um, it's, uh, well, it, you have to recognize that especially the interest rate swap market, mm -hmm. the, the OTC market is really big. It's even bigger than the stock market. Um, the volumes are even bigger than the whole uh, yeah, volume you, you see on NASDAQ, for instance. So, um, but it's a hidden market, kind of, because, I mean, uh, a retailer, yeah, you, so me, we, we don't we, talk about we it don't, much. Yeah, and we, mm -hmm. we, we never trade an interest rate swap. Right. We also do not trade credit default swaps. Mm -hmm. uh, but all these instruments uh, is, is really big notionals. It's, it's a, a really large trading volume. Mm -hmm. uh, probably in the trillions. Uh, definitely. Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. Definitely. Okay, so how can somebody find out more about Advanced Blockchain Solutions? Well, uh, you, you can uh, have a look on our website. Okay. You can have a uh, look on our product uh, website, XVA Blockchain, okay. um, and you can contact us. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Thomas, for coming. It's wonderful to hear about this new technology and how the world is changing. So Thanks a lot for being thank here. Thank you. And thank you as well for joining us. We'll be right back.